we have more than 200 wind farms. Here you can see uh, the green line is the production in real time. At 7, the TSO sent us a different set point. This energy we are not producing and we are allowed to produce it. And we have to follow this set point with every wind farm in real time. We had a four day training in our facilities in Toledo and then we started playing with this AF system we had just installed. It was very easily aggregated and, and summed up to the higher levels of the hierarchy. Total data, total power in real time. Red Electrica, which is the Spanish TSO, proposed us to change the strategy of curtailment so that we have two global set points. We used to stop or to curtail a lot of wind turbines in a lot of wind farms. And now what we do is we just stop completely as few wind farms as we can to, to comply with the, with the set point and we leave the rest alone. The red uh, line is the global set point. And then the blue line is what we have produced with the, with the former strategy of individual wind farm curtailment. The gap between the blue line and the red one the, re the red one is not that big, but it is a little big. With this new strategy, what we got is the green line, which is much closer to the set point. It is an average increase of 30% with peaks, depending on the curtailment on the particular day or the particular conditions of one, of one day. We have, we have had peaks of more than 60%.